What is going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we're going to be talking about some remote desktop services, mainly the top three, in my opinion. So let's get started. Now, I am working on the same video just for the internet versions like Team Viewer or Ultra Viewer. I will have a link up here in the corner if that video is available right now. So the first software I wanna talk about or the protocol you would say is remote desktop. And that's widely used in the industry. Everybody uses it. It's a great remote desktop service and it's natively available to all Windows machines. So you don't have to go and hunt it down and try to install it and stuff for Windows. If you got uh, Windows 10 Pro and up, you could just activate it by right clicking on the start menu, going into system and then scrolling down to remote desktop and then you can enable the service. Now if you're a Windows 10 home user, User, there is kind of like a bypass you could use something called the RDP wrap which I'll leave in the link in the description below it leads to a github it's a little small software that replaces the terminal service DLL and replaces it with its own which will allow you to use remote desktop services on home here's the catch to this anytime when there's a big update like the April update or the October updates there's a possible chance that it will break that DLL because Microsoft will kind of like replace its own again. So you would have to wait from an update from RDP wrap again just to get it working. So don't rely on it 100%. While it works amazing on Windows, multimedia is great, uh, copy and paste, drag and drop, you could pass through USB and printers. You could also pass through the audio so you could hear the audio from the remote desktop session. It's not so great on the Linux side. While you do get the copy and paste, the drag and drop, you don't get the high speed multimedia pass through or the audio pass through. So here's a side by side comparison between the Windows and a Linux version. And you can see like the updates of the screen of watching this video is kind of choppy and slow on the Linux side. It still works and it still spawns its own session. It's just slow. The next protocol I want to talk about is VNC. So VNC is also widely used in the industry and it's something I use as well. And mainly because it doesn't spawn its own session. It actually takes control over the current session that it's on. So for help desk support or controlling device that's hooked up to maybe a TV or something, you could control it directly like this compared to RDP. Now it does support copy and paste, but it doesn't support the drag and drop feature, but you can still transfer files over VNC. Now it's natively available for Ubuntu and also for Mac OS. Now certain distros of Ubuntu, not all, it has that option that you could just enable remote sharing and, and it works. For Windows, you would have to install X-Type VNC server as far as the viewer, for Windows, you could either install the actual full viewer or you could download a portable version so you don't have to install anything. It doesn't have uh, as fast as screen updating as remote desktop, so you can't watch like stream multimedia over the VNC protocol or it doesn't support audio, but you, there is a way to get that to work, but it's, it's a nightmare. Overall, it's rock solid and it's something I use a lot just for help desk or if I need to control a different monitor without kicking them off. Now, the last but not least, my personal favorite is No Machine. This one is a real, it basically takes best of both worlds and put it in together. The only downside is that it requires a lot of installation. You might have, you might need administrative access to install certain drivers to get something going, but ultimately it's I think the fastest out of the three. It, it supports both drag and uh, copy and paste uh, file transfer, but not through drag and drop. It also has the pass-through features like USB pass-through, um, printer pass-through and stuff like that. And it's fast and it also supports audio too. So basically if you're, if you want to watch a YouTube video off no machine, you, you possibly can and also possibly play a game off it. Not, not first person shooters, but you know, you'll be able to play some games through this protocol. Now, if you compare side to side between this and RDP, I think no machine is a little bit faster. And this is mainly what I use for my Linux installs on my VM server. So out of the three protocols, my personal favorite, like I said, is the No Machine. And then I use RDP a lot. Like it's, it works, it works really well. And then VNC definitely for like a fallback if I need to help somebody with something on their computer. 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button if you did. And if you guys do use your own remote desktop software that I didn't mention in this video, comment down below. I kind of want to check it out. Also, let me know what you guys think of this type of video where I'm just explaining software and kind of comparing the three or two between each other. I, I would love to make more videos like this because I do use a lot of software and different types of software within the same services. Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.